What's up guys? I'm here with five books that I've read since quarantine, all right, for anybody who's into health and wellness, all right, personal growth, taking your game to the next level, all right, so let's get into it. Shout out to Beacon Threads, Christian Lifestyle Apparel for the, for the cap. This is me right here on the shirt, all right, website's gonna be up soon. It's most likely gonna be the other shirt, but these will be available at some point. I appreciate the love and support from everybody. First book we got here is The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayton. Okay, this book here takes a place in a uh, civilization called Babylon over 8,000 years ago. Okay, it shows characters going through important tips of investing, learning how to manage money properly, you know, something that I personally had to learn and grow and I'm still continuing to grow uh, in my life. So um, important principles and strategies that you can use in order to elevate your wealth. The second book we got here is Practical Programming uh, for Strength and Conditioning by Ripto and Kilgore. Right? These two authors have over 60 years of, of coaching, professional experience in the in the strength and conditioning field, okay? So this book goes through uh, different routines from the novice trainee to the intermediate to the advanced trainee, um, how, to, how to maximize strength gaining programs, okay? How to avoid overtraining, what to do when overtraining occurs. So this is a, a great book for anybody who's coaching, all right? And athletes who are trying to elevate their games to the next level. Book number three we got here is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. All right, this book is about how great leaders inspire others to take action, All right? And this also goes through how, what separates great companies from, from just a good or an average company. All right, this is a, one of the most influential books I've read in a while. Um, it, 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 it shows you how to truly inspire others to, to, to motivate others and go about it in a way that will produce results. Book number four, we got The Inner Athlete by Dan Millman, okay? This book is, is not just for athletes, it does have athlete in the title, but it's it deals with the mental preparation it takes to be successful in any high level field, all right? And, and that these things can be worked on and improved with over time. Okay, it takes discipline, it takes consistency, it takes constant effort, but all of us have a inner athlete inside of us that we can achieve if, if we implement these principles. Last but not least, book number five, we got Brain Food by Dr. Lisa Moscone. All right, and this book, it deals with um, food as it relates to our brain, our brain health, neuronutrition. All right, uh, it provides specific meal plans and guidelines of how to eat in order to keep our brains working at maximum capacity. So this was actually my favorite book out of V5, and um, I will continue to explore the health and nutritional aspects of the gains that we can have to live healthy and productive lives. So this is a great one to read, all right? All right, that's a wrap five books I've read since quarantine, all right? I'm on to my sixth and my seventh book, all right? Let's continue to take our, our mental game to the next level by feeding it positive energy, things that, that are gonna move us forward in our path in life to reach our goals, to make it happen, all right? Thank you to everybody who has been supporting me um, from day one, all right? Thank you to everybody who has been donating on my Instagram. All right, we're gonna have these shirts out soon. All right, peace, love, I'm out.